Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. I've already moisturized my face, so next I'm taking my Iman Time Control Primer and applying it all over. To prime the eye area, I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. my foundation, contour, and highlight, I'm using a range of shades from the L'Oreal True Match line. This is a good tip for persons with acne prone skin. If you have a foundation that works well and agrees with you, it may be better to stick with that one formula rather than using a range of products that could be problematic and break you out. What I'm doing here is using a mixture of the two lighter shades to create a highlight color that I would use on the high points of my face. That would be the forehead, cheekbone and under eye area, the nose bridge and the chin. I'm then using a foundation brush to blend in the foundation shade that matches my skin tone. I'm blending and applying it all over the rest of my face. I'm now using the darkest foundation to contour the face. I'm using my fingers to apply it in the areas where I want to create shadows. The areas where you would want to create shadows would be the outer parameter of the forehead, along the sides of the nose, the hollows of the cheeks, and the jawline. <laughs> I'm using a small blending brush to blend in the foundation along the sides of the nose. I'm then using a larger brush to blend the contour color into the skin. At this point, I found that the nose contour was a bit too harsh for my liking, so I just took some of the foundation that matches my skin tone, just to tone it down a bit. I'm just going back in and blending out that contour a bit more. Just to take away some of the harshness and soften it up, I really want this to look very subtle. For a seamless look, I'm going back in with my foundation brush and blending everything well together. There's no added foundation on the brush, it's the same brush that I used previously. the darker areas of my face, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Powder in W10. For the rest of my face, I'm using my usual Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. Find my brows. I'm using this eyebrow kit that I got at a local beauty supply store. It does look a bit dilapidated because it was cheap, but it works really well.
using the shaped honey from the Scylla in the Garden product. of the eyes I'm using the same W10 which is the L'Oreal True Match powder to give some definition to my eyes. I'm then using the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in black to line the top lash line. Due to the fact that I absolutely suck at applying false eyelashes on myself, I went ahead and applied them off camera. These are a really natural looking pair by Ardell. I then use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder to set the lighter areas of my face. To complete the eyes, I'm going back with the Honey Eyeshadow and applying it at the lower lash line at the inner corners. For the lower lash line, I'm also using the eyeshadow Snake Bite, which is from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm using it on the outer part of the lower lash line. For further definition, I'm applying a black eyeliner pencil to the waterline. And a few coats of mascara for the lower lashes. This gorgeous pink blush is Matahari by Nance. I'm applying it on my cheek area in circular motions and sweeping upwards towards the air. the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Sao Paulo. And the finishing touch is to apply this beautiful new lipstick. This is the Kate, one of the Kate lipsticks by Rimmel in number 14. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button and for future videos from me, please, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!